Hey, what's going on guys? It's Trek YT here and back with another brand new video guys and today I wanted to do a tutorial on how to download install Minecraft world edit because I use that in a lot of my videos and a lot of people keep asking me well Nick How do you actually get it? So today I'm gonna show you how to do that So today's video is not going to be a video on how to use World that I've actually done a couple of videos on how to use the features and I guess the things that World that it has to offer. Today is strictly going to be about how to download and install it so that way it will work functionally on your computer. So we're going to start off by jumping over to the desktop. So over on your desktop, you're going to want to open up some form of internet browser because you're going to have to pull up two download links and both of those download links will be down in the description. Both of them are completely safe links. Once I open them up and show you, you'll totally understand and how it is safe. So the first link that we're going to need to open up is called Minecraft Forge. The link is going to be down in the description, like I said. And what you're going to want to do is when you get onto the Minecraft Forge website, you're going to see a bunch of different Minecraft versions on the side. It's going to go from 1.14 to 1.1. Choose whatever Minecraft version that you want to have it installed on. So if you want to play 1.8 Minecraft, you're going to want to choose the 1.8 version. I strictly, for the most part just play 1.8 minecraft anyways so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the tab that says 1.8 i'm going to expand it and then there's actually versions with inside that and this is a very i guess very important task or very important part is you're going to want to make sure that you choose the same version in every single one so if you're going to play 1.8 minecraft make sure that you're playing 1.8 not 1.8.9 or if you want to play 1.8.9 make sure you're only selecting 1.8.9 and not 1.8 so for the sake of this video we're going to choose 1.8 i actually already have this installed on my computer so I'm just going to choose it again, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on 1.8 or whatever version that you want to be on, and you're going to have two options for downloads. You're going to see download latest and download recommended. I, well, would suggest downloading the recommended because when you download the latest, yes, it is the most up to date, but sometimes the recommended is a better version just because, you know, if it's the latest, there still may be some bugs with that version. So I always suggest clicking the download recommended. I just click the Windows installer right in the middle, click that, and it's going to bring up another page. Now on this page, don't touch anything at all because potentially it's one of those like where they try to make money off it and it could like for some reason give you a virus if you like download something not on purpose. So what I do is I come up to the very top and I just hit skip. And then you're going to see it's going to download it in the bottom left of your browser. That means it's installed. What I like to do is I like to drag my browser off screen, grab the download from that, and just put it right on my desktop. Now, the next thing that you're going to want to download is the actual world edit mod. So this link will also be down in the description, linking directly to this. And on this page, what you're going to want to do is it probably will say description, files, images, issues, and stuff like that. Go to the files because that's what you're going to want to download. Next, you're going to want to scroll down to where it says recent files. Now, you're going to see actually up at the top where it says world that it mods. It says it's been downloaded almost 8 million times. If that doesn't give you like some form of reassurance that this is a safe mod, then I don't know what will. So when you scroll down a little bit farther, you're going to see world that it 7.0, 7.0, 6.1, stuff like that. Now, in the actual parentheses, you're going to see the Minecraft versions. This is important that you choose the same Minecraft version for the Minecraft Forge that you just downloaded. So in my case, I need to download Minecraft 1.8 for Forge or World or <laughs> World Edit for Minecraft Forge. So that's all the way at the bottom where it says World Edit 6.1 for MC 1.8.0. I'm going to click on that and it's going to bring me to that page. Now you're going to see in this top right over here, it's going to say download. You're going to want to click on that. And then it's going to say your automatic your download will begin automatically in two seconds. And that means it's just going to go ahead and start downloading for you. And it's going to say down here, this file type can be harmful for your computer. What this means is it is a jar file, which is basically an executable file, which is unfortunately, it's typically sometimes the same file type as viruses for computers. This on the other hand is actually a safe file. I've downloaded it like probably 10 or 15 times on different computers and different versions of it. So. I use it all the time. I haven't had any issues with it, but I would strongly suggest that if you have any like second guesses about it, if you have some form of like virus detection software, maybe run the file through it, but I don't actually know how to do that. But that's just my suggestion if you have any second guesses. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit keep and then it's going to go ahead and download it. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go ahead and drag this to my desktop. 
That way it's in an easy location so I can install both of these. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're actually gonna wanna open up your Minecraft before you do anything. And now what we're doing is we need to open up the vanilla version of whatever version that you just selected. So for example, we're gonna be playing 1.8. So I need to go into my installations over here and I need to go ahead and hit new. And then I need to go ahead and select the version. Whoa, we're really blurry right now. Whoa, fix that, fix that. Stop being blurry, whoa, okay. We're going to go down to Minecraft 1.8, which is gonna be very far down because this is a very old version, but I just personally like Minecraft 1.8. I feel like it's the smoothest in my opinion, plus I like the combat the most in that. So we're gonna go all the way down to Minecraft 1.8. Boom, Minecraft 1.8. We're just gonna name it World Edit. So I'm just put we, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit create at the bottom. Then we're gonna go back to play, and then we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we are selecting it. You can see I already have it installed right here. Um, that's because I use it all the time for every single video, but we're gonna go ahead and hit Minecraft World Edit. So WE, and then I'm just gonna hit play. Now what this is doing is to install the Forge mod, you actually have to be able to like have run Minecraft before on that exact version that you want to install. So all you have to do is load it up. You don't have to go into anything. You literally just load it up and then you can exit out of it. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go ahead and grab your forge right here. All you're gonna do is just click on it. What this is gonna do is it's gonna open up this little screen right here. This is the actual the installer for Minecraft Forge. So where you can see the selections, you have install for client, install for server and extract. You're installing it for a client. A client is basically just your Minecraft. So you're just gonna leave it on that and you're just gonna hit okay. Now it's gonna go ahead and download it. And you can see it's actually pretty quick. I don't know if it's slower on different computers, but for my computer, it's very quick. Then I hit okay. And now what we're gonna do is the Minecraft world edit, you don't actually have to click on that. So don't even worry about clicking on that. We're gonna actually put this into a folder for our mods within Forge. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and open up a new file explorer. I have it over here on my side of my computer, very convenient. And you're gonna come up to this little search bar right here and you're gonna type in percent app data percent. Now what this is going to do is it's going to open up your roaming folder, which is where your Minecraft folder is located. So your my top choice is dot Minecraft. So you're going to click on dot Minecraft and it's going to bring you into basically your Minecraft folder. Mine's very cluttered because I have a lot of stuff installed for Minecraft. Yours may be a lot less cluttered, but don't worry about it. The folder that we're looking for is mods. You may or may not have a mods folder. You should because you just downloaded Forge, so it should auto populate for you. If for some reason mods is not there, come up to new folder right here, click that, and then just all lowercase, just type mods. I have a mods folder, so I'm actually not going to do that because I don't wanna mess anything up that I already have there. So now what you're gonna do is when you have the mods folder, go ahead and open it up. Mine has stuff in it, so let me go ahead and move everything out of there. Uh, let me just replace file and destination. All right. So now I can go ahead and just delete everything out of here. Now it's completely empty. Yours should be already empty. Mine's full because I have a lot of the mods that I use on a regular basis in there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and grab that world edit file that we just downloaded. You can actually see this is the same world edit file that I have been using for all of my videos. So I'm just going to take that file actually it's right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag that into the mods folder. And that's it. You're done. You're pretty much your world edit is is installed. So we're going to close out of that. And we're going to go back into our Minecraft. We're going to open that bad boy back up. And then we're just going to go ahead and select in here where it says Minecraft Forge. Mine says unnamed installation because when Minecraft Forge is installed, it automatically makes a new version for you that you can select in your drop down menu. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on that and you're just going to hit play. Now, if you installed everything correctly, Minecraft should load up as normal. It shouldn't have any weird bugs to it. It'll say constructing mods. That's the forge constructing basically the mods for forge. There's mods that automatically get installed when forge is installed. And then there's the mods that you download and install like Minecraft world edit, maybe Optifine or other mods that you might want to use. So now if you come into your main menu and just click on mods, you should see Minecraft world edit right here on the bottom of your screen over here. That means it's installed correctly. So if you can just hit done, you can go into a single player world. I'll just load up the world that we were playing on in the beginning and I can show you that world edit should now be fully installed. So the easiest way to check if Minecraft world edit is installed is all you have to do is type in chat slash slash wand. If a wand populates into your inventory, which is the wooden, I guess, ax in the game, that means Minecraft world that it is installed correctly and you should be pretty much good to go. So now you can go ahead and start selecting things that you want. And if you actually wanna know how to use World Edit, one, I will link a video that I've made in the past down below. Actually, I have two videos that I'll link in the video or the description down below 
but I probably am going to go ahead and make an updated version on the basics of world edit here, probably as my next video, just to kind of go along with this video of how to install world edit. But that's pretty much it guys. That's how simple it is to download world edit for Minecraft. Now I would strongly suggest maybe downloading Optifine. Now that's a whole nother thing to do. It's another thing. If you just search up Minecraft Optifine, it should be there's literally a website called Optifine like .com or something like that. Go ahead and in there, select the same version that you selected for your world edit and for your forge, download that and put that in there. The reason why I'm suggesting Optifine is because it actually makes your Minecraft run a lot smoother. I use it all the time because, well, it just makes it run smoother. I would strongly suggest it if you haven't already done that. But if you are only interested in learning how to download Minecraft World Edit today, that is how you go ahead and download and install Minecraft World Edit. If you're playing on like Xbox or PS4 or some other console that's not a PC, unfortunately, I have no idea how to download Minecraft World Edit, but if you're playing on PC, this is exactly how you go out go about downloading Minecraft World Edit. If this video was at all helpful, guys, definitely show your support down below because, you know, I use Minecraft World Edit all the time, so I'm pretty experienced with it. I'm definitely not necessarily the best person uh, using all the capabilities of it, but I pretty much have a good understanding of how to use everything in World Edit. So I'm going to go ahead and make another video on how to use the basics of World Edit, so that way you guys that are new to World Edit will have a better understanding how to use it. But again, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, definitely show your support down below. Might as well hit that subscribe button, guys. I would like to hit 10,000 subscribers here as soon as I possibly can because, well, that's my current goal on YouTube. But as always, guys, I love you all. See you guys next time. Peace out.